Pastor Satanan. And I know whom I have believed is our song for this morning. We're glad to see each one of you come early this morning to join with us in our Sunday school class. Before that, let's sing this song, I Know Whom I Have Believed. On the verse together, let's sing. I know not why God's wondrous grace to me He hath made known, nor why unworthy Christ in love redeemed me for His own. But I know whom I have believed, and I'm persuaded that He is able. Unto him against that day. Verse 2, let's sing. I know not how this saving fate to me he did impart, nor how believing in his word wrought peace within my heart. But I know. Persuaded that he is able to keep that which I committed unto him against that day. I know not how the Spirit moves, convincing men of sin. Now let's sing. I know not when my Lord may come at night or noonday fair, nor if I'll walk the veil with him or meet him in the air. But I know. Persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. Good singing this morning. Let's have Engineer Diaz for our Sunday school class. My Muntang Stanan. Are you ready for Sunday school this morning? Salamat sa inyong presencia. If you have your Bibles with you, please open to the book of Mark. Mark, salamat sa uh, on time ng Sunday school. We pray for Pastor Kent, who is now in Malaybalay, campaigning for the uh, Congress this coming June. And then uh, for more, kamakaten sa Congress. And uh, also missions conference, uh, Pastor Kalyanta in Bukidnon, Malabalay. Are you there? Say Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. Ready? Go. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise that he was in the house. 
and straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, and bringing one of the sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and they had broken up it up. And they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why that this man does speak blasphemies, who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus received, perceived in his heart spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things into your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee? Ere to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the sick of the palsy. And I say unto them, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into the house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed. And they glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this passion. Let's bow as a prayer. Our loving Heavenly Father, once and again, we thank you, Lord, for this time we've been together in Sunday school. We thank you, Lord, for all the things that have already been inspired. Even, Lord, the activities today. Even, Lord, the main service. Bless Pastor uh, Dr. Shalba, preach your word. Even, Lord God. We thank you all these things that has been going on, even Lord, at the coming uh, Congress. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit working in the midst. Cleanse our hearts and minds, forgive us our sins, that we may be worthy to receive your word this morning. Be glorified and honored now, blessed to those who are still coming. We give you back all the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please be seated. The last Sunday school this morning is about the four men. Okay, mo makita sa uh, the Jesus movie. Okay, mo makita dito nga ilag yung gipugos ang paguba sa ibabaw sa ato parang lang yun mapahiubos, mapada sa silong ang maong pasyente. A lot of us realize that this is really a move wherein we do not know even this man. That's why the title of the Sunday School is Four Men, Upat Katao, Without a Name. But in spite nga wala sila yung mga personality gimension sa Bible, they were an example of a dying to self, which is the key now of the Sunday School. It is a personality, a, a, pers a, a rip, 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 replica of a person who is living for Christ and dying to self. The book of John, chapter 12, verse 24, Very liberally I say you that except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it, it abided, but if it, it die, it bring it forth much fruit. In the book of Mark, chapter 2, makita ni Modinhi that four men, in the count of four men, were determined to get their paralyzed friend to Jesus and ask Jesus to, to heal him. Now, each of these four unnamed men in this story could have thought only of themselves that day. They could have just thought of themselves, Ako nalay magpaayo dito kay ang akong TL Ibarikos or akong TL Arthritis. So, mara na itong mga tao di ang nagbahadal bim na sa kalakaw. But, they were not thinking of themselves. They were thinking of somebody else who had a problem that he could not get through nearer to Jesus. Now, this story could have only a uh, story could, uh, uh, if they had not cared for the need of their friend, they probably could have individually found their way inside and through the crowd and get a close set, seat and hear Jesus teach and preach. They could have assumed a prestigious place where Jesus would have noticed them. 
They surely had needs of their own lives. Kini mga tawana, kitang tanan naman tayo need. Wo, na kay problema karon ang imong migraine o sa padiha imong problema na hindi turok mo makakasabot. Kung saan na kay problema, physically. Tingin ang tanan ay problema. Pero kini mga tawana, wa ni maniguro sa ilang problema, bahala ilang problema, gisiguro nila rin o sa kaparalitik ko nga maoy masakit to, nga dili makalakaw. They have needs in their own lives that they could not have as Jesus to meet. Instead, they saw a good need for their friend. Nga naman, unsa may parallel ini. Usahay kita, we do not go soul winning, we do not get out because kita ang atong kagalingon, atong siguroon. Ang kalibutan, ekonomismo. Ang kalibutan, katekismo. Ang kalibutan, katolisismo. Problema no, kita ramismo. Naging problema na ito, Permi. Nga naman, ang atong priorities are not that really Uh, the priorities of, of being just uh, uh, looking on the needs of others. The need of others is number one, the soul. Number one, ang kalag. Indeed, they saw a need for their friend and realizing that by themselves, there was little they could do. They banded together to help. As a team, they were part of the great miracle. Amazingly, this kind of devastation can only broke by what are Ordinary solitary creatures that normally living or working in communities, but when God needs needs them, they are willing to pray to leave their normal comfort zone and band together for a cause. It's not about their own need. It's not about the miracle ng makita sa milagro ni Jesus, but it's a miracle of a causa. Ngano man ang mga Iranian, kanang mga Iraqis, kanang mga terrorists, ipada dito sa pangubatan, magbutag bumba. They do not mind about themselves. Di sila magbahala ng ilang kinapuhi, but they want to die for a cause. Kausa. This people is not about terrorism. It's about helping. Lahi ni. Ang kausa sa terrorist karun, mga Hamas, magdag bumba ito sa, sa, sa front line. Magpagkamatay na lang tungo sa kausa. It's about it's about killing other people. This one this one is different. It's about helping. Just like the locusts, the locusts have no king in Proverbs 30:27. Yet they go forth, and all of them by bands. Locusts have no hierarchy. Ang locusts walay leader. Pero nasa le kausa, hutdon ganin na ang imong tanan. Daga ng usa, daga ng tanan, hurot, upaw. Pero ito na itabok sa kang Moses ba? Muna yung uh, attitude sa mga locust. The four men in Mark 2 definitely had a cause. We are told that they had a relationship with each other prior to this day. But for the sake of a cause, they forgot about their individual lives. They forgot about themselves. Denying ourselves is a very important parts sa atong kinabuhi because one, number one, karon kamuntakon, it's about unselfish compassion. Compassion, ba, doon na kay kaluoy, doon na kay paghikutar, doon na kay kahingawa niya. Nga naman nga, gitagaan mo siya gospel track, ka doon na kay kahingawa. Nga naman, nga, giimo siya, giimo siya, gahinan yung time. Okay. There was one time, there was a Muslim. I had him testimony in this church. This Muslim was a son of a Sultan in Sultan Kudarat. He was really a real Muslim. He was a teacher, sniper, killer, a gugu dancer, distributor of drugs. But one day, he became a born again Christian. Who had the compassion to win him to the Lord? What happened? There was an accident. That Muslim man was carrying drugs all over Mindanao. Ang yang mga lalay police. Kung hilingig kayo ng mga polis sa Mindanao, ang hilang mga distributor sa Ayan Drugs Polis, ibutang lang sa spare tire ang kaning, kaning Muslim, nga anak sa Muslim, iyan kuhaon ng spare tire, ikarga, i-distribute ang drugs whole Mindanao. But what happened? Make a long story short. He went to the mountains, got an accident. Na-admit sa Mindanao State University Hospital. And there in the hospital, there was an alliance doctor. The lion's doctor was praying, kanin tawha na unta, mahimong Christian. But they knew that he was a Muslim. 
So what the, most, what the Alliance doctor did, he was a Christian, he did not uh, do anything, just prayed. Gibutang niyang Bible sa kilit, gibutang niyang gospel track, and then prayed about it. First year, oh, what, one month happened, two months, six months, hangtod nga naayo ang maong Muslim nga pasinti. One year and six months, dito sa hospital. But the doctor never, never had an opportunity to open the Bible because he said, he was thinking about himself that the Lord did not give me a, a, a possible way of opening the Bible. The patient never asked about what is in the book. So, patient get out. Following year, two years, three years after, na discuss niya na sad ang kuan katong kauba ni Osama Bin Laden ng Muslim. Di man niya, he was a sniper killer. He made a testimony here in all the churches around the Philippines. He said, isugod niya testimony, mayroon siya. Forgive me, my fellow brother and sister. I could, I, I maybe have killed your your relative or friend or maybe your cousin. Forgive me. Ano man, sniper man siya, killer man siya. But when he became a born again Christian, mo nito po niya, ato, atong ipastrak. Na-admit na sa, for the second time, nabali na siya ng tiil. Did to sa Mineral State University Hospital. So ang gibuhat sa doktor, Christian man siya, <coughs> gibutang na siya ng Bible skilling. Lo and behold, nilabay ang two months. Bali na siya ng tiil, nausap na siya. So did ang doktor, doon na tayo na opportunity. But he did not pursue the opportunity of winning that man to the Lord until that student, uh, Muslim, that, that Muslim man was asking, hey, come here doctor, I want to ask you a question. What is this that you are putting in the side of my bed? You want really to know? Yes, doctor, you've been doing this two times already. I was here three years ago. I was here for a year. Ako lang na notice, but I never ask you because this is the second time I've been here to the hospital and you put again this, this book and this small paper that says something. So that was the time that doctor told him about Jesus Christ. He was telling the patient, do you know Jesus Christ? Yeah, I know him. He's the highest prophet because I know Koran. I memorize the Koran. I, and I, I am going around the Philippines because I'm a member of Osama bin Laden. <clears throat> I know. But don't you know that he is not only Lord but Savior? The Muslims said, that I do not know. Can you tell me? So that was the point that the doctor told him about the Lord Jesus Christ. See the, see the point? He had a compassion on the man. Pero naghuwat siya timing. And when the patient was asking him, what this Bible, what can this Bible do to me? He right away told the story. Slowly, slowly. Kakana kung Muslim, dili na madadali ni mo soul winning kung dili ni mo ihikyad ang history about Abraham, na yung Abraham, Joshua, na yung Jesus Christ, ano ba? And then that man understood. One year before he went and be released, kinayo naman siya, he went to a Christian church. Dili na ito, Baptist or Alliance Church. Attended the school, enrolled in a Bible school, became a born again Christian. Nilayas dito sa bagyo. Nga naman, his father said, if you become a Christian, we will kill you. We will disinherit you. We will look for you anywhere because we want you to go back to Quran. Inana ka, grabe yung mga Quran, libero eh. Ingon siya, now, if I memorize the Quran because of Jesus Christ, I memorize now the Bible. Tiyan mo na, di memorize niya. That was the result unselfish compassion of the doctor nga iyag yung pangitag pagi on saan niya masulwini ang muslim gidugay-dugay niya charity can overcome a multitude of selfish conceits 
When the love of Christ is constraining us, it will be much more easier to take a rise of ourselves and live for the welfare of others. It's much more easier. Kung imuna na lang pero yon, saan ka na kung makainter ako? Kung saan ka na kung imatabangan? Kung saan ka na kung nga maka 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 open ko niya sa sa pati ni Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians five fourteen fifteen. For the love of Christ constraineth us to become. We disjudge if one died for all, then the the then we're all dead, and that he died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which which died for them and rose again. It's a self fishness denied. We live in a selfish time. Kitang karon selfish ta oy ngano mayong ko selfish. I have been the president of Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity is building houses started by an American couple way back in 1977 in in uh, in, uh, in uh, Africa. Build building houses. Na sa America dito na nagsugod by the name of William and uh, Fuller. Ganon man, mutabang sila sa mga countries ng pobre nga dili magbabayad para lang building communities and uh, and uh, houses centered on the Lord Jesus Christ ngano man unsay tuyo harun ang tanan mahibaw about the Lord Jesus Christ what is that a selfishness denied we live in a selfish time selfish daw na ito din ang recruit ko sa akong pagkapresidente daghang kay kong kitrain lain lain mga grupo ba ko unsay lain ingon Bye bye. Who knows that? Bye. Nani allowance bye? Ula volunteer program raba ni wag ni kwarta. Kasi lang maminaw lang ni. Lo and behold, pila ka pila ka buhok akong na train, perti na kana. Pagabot sa trabaho na, wag ni tunga ko sa. Unsay katuyuan? Mo mo ni allowance bye. Kom ko tay makuha ana. Mo ginay una una staw silpis kay tao. Gusto siya nagi siya makuha. Na siya magkakwarta, na kasi magkuha. Bisa kung saan na lang. The Bible actually predicted that loving self would be prevalent in the last days. Nga naman, muna ay problema in the last days. Ang mga tao, gusto lang sila, na sila ay makuha. Di ba? Kung saan may magkuha na kuha na. Yung mga kayo magkwarta. Sige ka ito sa bukid. Wag yung magkakwarta. Ako ng kwarta ni Gawas. Hahaha. Philippians 1.2, 1.21 For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Philippians 2.21 For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. We'll be living a living for Christ Christian or seeking our, over our own Christian. We must die to self. That means sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Dili kapaliha itong dito nga doon na may bisita ba? Diyan doon na mas isla. Ingon din si ang maong speaker. Over and at to God, the sacrifice of praise or else the wrath of God will come upon you. Ningon ang pastor nga, may kayo mo transitit pa. Tanawa, tanawa. Di mo magdamo kay mission conference na magdamo duha ka sa akong bugas. Sack of rice ba? Ang sacrifice yung naunan niya, sack of rice. Kanawa, padan doon mo doon ka sa akong bugas kay sack of rice ko, sack of rice, ang iyan sack of rice, sack of rice. Kung siya may tabo, di mo magdag bugas. Ingon siya. The wrath of God will come upon you. Ipada ang mga ilaga, haroon ka noon na inyong mga humay. Ikaw, Brad, sakto game in English, Brad. Sakto kay wrath, ilaga man. Ang sacrifice, sack of rice, ay mo sakto sad. Nadala na lang sila bugas. Pada pada yang nak nanti ka, perlu saya ok dia pun tu. But the point here is about sacrifice. The problem with a living sacrifice is that it is always trying to crawl of the altar. God through the testimony of the Apostle Paul gave us a remedy for this. Ingat si Apostle Paul, I die daily. It's a dying to self. It's something that you must offer. To God, every morning we must conduct a funeral. Funeral, it means a funeral service for yourself. Ningon ang si Paul. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, 
Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. The life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Huwagin mong hunahunahon ba nga itong mga missionaries dito sa mga Islam, maninguha tao na sila. Basag na yung mission conference dito ng atin ko, kami dito hapit na lang may paghubos, kainit. Na yung pastor, ang Amerikana, magka-bread din, magka. Di magka-Amerikana. So, di po bitaw ko sa inyo, St. Francis, San Carlos, nga naman, nanguham ko Amerikana, itong patay. Haro lang maka-Amerikana siya. Pero ang tao, ang speaker, hapit na lang mag- magkanang kamisyon kay tungkol sa kainit pating inita is lago niya well by tubig sin pa but it's because sacrifice is about something to do with God a selfishness denied a service delivered because of self it didn't matter to this man service did it to open our lives service doesn't matter because of self does it's a living for Christ it's sacrifice now 1 Corinthians 10.24 Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. 2 Corinthians 12.15 And I will very gladly spend and be spent for you through the more abundantly love for you, the less I love for me. An unselfish compassion? Ano siya pa? Ikadwa? A unified cooperation. It's a cooperation. Katong buhata, When they destroy the rooftop, makita ni mo sa Jesus film, giguba ang rooftop, tapos gihiktan, gitagak dito ang pasinti, dito sa tunga, si Jesus gana. And He knows that was an act, a courageous act, beyond their own capacity, nga ila itong gibuhat, because of cooperation. They do not mind among themselves, but just to let the paralytic man down, haron makakita, makaadto ni Jesus Christ. It's a unified cooperation. One one person by themselves could not have gotten this man with palsy, a kind of paralysis, to Christ. But the four men working together could do not something special. It's about an individual inadequacy. Word had gotten out that Jesus was in Capernaum. Nga naman nagdugok sila dito because Jesus was coming. But Jesus was going there. Dito sila nagdugok. This simply weren't a, a, a way to bring a grown paralyzed man through the dense of crowd. And any other method would have been too great for any man to do alone. It's not a work of one man. It was a cooperation, cooperative effort of four men so that ang katong tao nga na-paralyze, maduol yun siya din ng Jesus Christ. Pag duol niya ang Jesus Christ, that's when the miracle happened. We see an example of this in the Old Testament. The legacy of Moses would have been greatly tarnished had not learned from his father known the lesson of individual inadequacy. If you recognize that you are inadequate to do what God has called you to do, don't despair or give up. Instead, recognize that God gives great assignments so we might partner with others. Recognize that you are given an assignment. Kanabit ang mga takog Bible. I've been with Gideons for many, many, many years since 1988. Kada na mga tag, may nga na sila, nga nung sige mong pagkatag, uy, kaskas lang mo ane. Kani mga Bible, no? Pila ni kabilibo niyang ihatag. Panaguan rin eh. Tinood. Mga si Maestra, pila niyang ihatag. Nga na kayo Bible, ma'am? So, uy, kaliman rin eh. Pwede na, kanan na kayo Bible. But we just keep on giving. Nga naman. Because it's an assignment. O, pagkato na mo sa Shangri-La, may nga ng mga hotel dito, may Dother Day sa Imperial Hotel. Oh, Imperial man na, hindi naman Imperial. J, J, J Center. Hindi yung mga, mga, ang mga manager doon, yun yung mga Bible, ipangawat lagi. Hindi yung mga, ipangawat? So, bagi problem magkawat doon. Sa pili nagkawat, no? Pila ito ka, gatos, ah, mo ilisan. Sir, ano yung ipakawat niyo? Sir, may na lang, katong kawatan, maluwas. <laughs> But the point is not that one. The point is, why is the Gideon International had been there. 70% of the resources come from America. 
printing at 1 million Bibles a month in over 200 languages, in over 200 countries. Nga man? Because it's an assignment. Mauna yung assign sa Gideon. Kita nga mga churches, partner lang ta sa maong assignment, sa maong tahas, nga kani mga tawhana nga makadawat, maluwas ni. It's a cooperation in a way. That is why we have to recognize, we have that we recognize that you are an advocate to do God has called you so that you don't despair or give up. Nga naman nga na may mga testimony nga among mga pagpaga pagadawaton mata matakaron noon nya harong kami di mi mo give up. O do na usa ka pastor mao ni ha na itabo tinuod gyud ni. Kay lang mo pastor Primo Tabanda wa naman. Si pastor Primo Tabanda usa ka kanang hotel boy. Usa na siya ka hotel boy. Pagiyang pag hotel boy mato siya sa mga mga ka kwarto iyan limpyuhan. Kita mo siya ang libro, yun ano ba? Libro ba? Samsung na yung libro ha, yung samok-samok na yun. Iyan ang ikuha, ikilabay. Kaya ang Gideon Bible sa hotel, lima mga kakulor. Ang primero niyang ikilabay, green. After two weeks, nibalik na saan? Nga naman yung Bible, nibalik naman saan eh? Saan yung Bible? Ay, tinukod ba ka eh? Napulihan na saan ang color red. So this time, buwan niya, buwan niya ilabay, yung ibutang sa yung living room, yung sala. Ito, kanindot na ng kulura. Ay, buha man. Oh, dantag pila kasi mana ni Balik naman. Saan? Saan mo sabi libro ha? Magbalik-balik. Manin, saan yung bayo magbalik-balik? Primo Tamanda ni ha? Pasig Baptist Church. Kuha na saan niya? Ibutang niya sa yung sala? Ang tood nga. Primero, sa itong green. Sunod red. Sunod gold. Wala na yung bayo sa mga kwarto. Uy, ni Balik naman. Saan? This time, color brown. Sa man yung libro ha, magbalik-balik, sa kung saan ako glabay, sa kung saan ako tago, magbalik-balik. Hangtod, ikalima. Yan ang ikuha. Last color, blue. Blue. Kaya man, iha ka ng Bible sa mga hotel, sa Gideon na, gibutang niya, na emblem, na kung emblem ako kaya gibutang, it's all about the Gideon Bible. It's King James, may yung siguro mo, di ba na King James? Good. Yes. Tinood na, doon na, karon, dili na King James. Na na New King James, na na mga lain version. But once upon a time, ang among national director was a Baptist. King James gina tanan. But it's not about the version. It's about the assignment nga gihatag nila nga makadawat yas Bible, mubasas yah, and the Lord Holy Spirit will will make him understand about the power of being saved. Munsay nito mo ni Primo Tabanda. Last na ni. He got the book. Giyon siya, saan ni Libro Hoy? Saan ako naglabay, magbalik-balik man. Gidaan niya sa streets of Manila. Pag-anto niya sa dito sa somewhere in Kisunsi, nakakita siya. Abli siya. Roman Street, Street Military. All have seen and for sure the glory of God. Sige siya, tutok dito sa bumbong. Nigawas man na si Juan, Win Siciliano. Kapatid, ano ang tinitingnan mo dyan? Ito kasi, sir, oh, pareho eh. Ito kasi dito na lang, pareho dyan. Kapatid, pwede ka at mamasok. Sige, isplikahan siya. Primo Tabanda got saved. Went to the church, enrolled in Bible school. Make a long, long story short, he was, he became a pastor of a pastor, Pasig Baptist Church in Metro Manila. What was it all about? Because of the Bible, of the assignment nga ang Bible, butangan yun kada hotel. Gamay rin ha, para na ito, gamay rin trabaho. Pero dako ng trabaho eh. Magbalik-balik ka, sige ka tayo, hotel Bible niya, pilag-pilag yan ako sa ka-Bible, mahal yan na. Hardbound. Karoon tag-700 na, sa una tag-500. Who made the effort in spending all of this? We do not even know. It's only in eternity that we will know. Ikaw dahi to naghatag, no? Donate to Bible. Salamat, ha? Nahi mo kong pastor sa Pasig. Tungod ni mo. It's because of unselfish compassion, a unified cooperation. Ikatulo. Because of 
unstoppable creativity. A creativity. Pwede naman tayo sa Unified Cooperation, no? Ikatulo. An unstoppable creativity. Having unselfish compassion and unified cooperation is a great start. But what do you do when you come upon difficulties in your mission? Here was a restraint. This poor man need was obvious. A man was sick of the palsy and needed help. The solution was obvious. They needed a miracle from Jesus. They needed a miracle from Jesus. Ang milagro sa unang panahon, makita ni mo. Mabitaw na ni unang Bible, mas mas uh, bulahan ka itong nakakita niya nito. Kaysa ka itong kita, wa kita, nito ta. Kung sa mga itong nakitaan ka ron, wa. It's only what the Word of God says. It's the Bible. Those people so, have, so, have, so, have seen it during those times, 2,000 years ago. Kita sila, uy. Ang ilang great, 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 last, 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 ng mga generation, mayroon sila, uy, nakakita, gamit is milagro. Nakakita, gamit ni Jesus Christ, nga, nga nag, naayos mga paralitiko, nag, nag, nagpabangon sa mga patay, giayo ang mga buta, nakita, gamit mi, But how is this related to this? The crowd filling the house where Jesus was teaching was massive. No doubt everyone in that crowd was there because they considered their need important. Nga naman nga, you have to be creative, you have to be impulsive, you have to be just uh, just to have something ang mahuna-unaan nila. Gigoba nila ang atop, nagdasila ka nang dito, gipakita mo dito sa Jesus film ba. Nigamit mag-chin black, kita mo ng chin black, putaw ba. Pero dito, chin black, maratog puli ba. Ibot ng PC, gi gibutangan o kanang kanang lamisa lamisa gipa gipalingko dito ang mga pasinti ang mga paralitiko ng man gitagak nila hinahinang ato sa bus and Jesus was looking at that and the Pharisees was also watching ng nagtanaw sa mga Pharisees ba there were all these behindrances to accomplishing God's work nga naman it's normal kaya nila walay walay hindrance walay babag, wala yung mga opposition, di man ka ma-encourage. Ano ma-encourage man ta mag-sunday school? Ano ma-encourage man ta musimba ta? Ano ma-encourage man ta maminaw sa pulong sa Diyos? But because of this, this, this story is about a miracle. Kitang tanan gusto tang milagro sa kinabuhay, oy. Di mo gusto milagro? Gusto tang milagro, oy. Doon natin mga problema, bilag, gusto tang milagro. Lord, tabangi ko sa akong uh, nag-ibate, Lord, cancer yun eh, Lord, cancer yun eh. Cancer, you need it, matabang. Di ba inana ang atong kinabuhi? There are always problems in life. We never can have a capacity to do it because we need the power of God. We need something that is really uh, uh, from uh, up on high the, the, it's in the personality of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nga mingo ng ganyan Bible, I may touch just the hem of His garment. Bisag mo ko, put lang ko siya sa nina, mayon ako. That is what? It's faith. It's about practicing our faith. Faith is the substance, hope, or the evidence of things not seen. Magdita magkita pero magkapractice na. Here was a resourcefulness. Restraint requires resourcefulness. Conflict should be a catalyst for creativity. Conflict. These men knew that they were going to have to come up with a strategy that was unconventional. It would take effort and it might even be expensive. They likely to fix the rope when it was all over. In Mark chapter 2 verse 4, And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the rope where he was. And when they had broke it, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. A closed door doesn't necessarily mean that the door is locked. And when we cannot enter, Paul saw an open door when there was there was obstacle. First Corinthians 69, for a great door and a victual is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. Paul recognized the adversaries. Unsa adversary ni Paul? Daghang kay siyag adversary, daghang kay siyag opposition in the first place, kasi siya may tigpapatay. Siya may tigpatay sa mga kristuhanan sa unang panahon niya. Here he comes. Saul before then and became Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles. That was his conflict in his heart 
Noon sa mangkong sa una, ako may tikpatay sa mga tao. Karun, ako na may mukabig para sa ginoo. Isun, uy. Isun, yung kinubuhi at itong panahuna, di siya katuo ba? Ba't gimilagrohan man siya sa ginoo, nagbutaan man siya. Pag huma, nakakita siya. Because of the miracle, nakakita siya nga, uy, di, di ni mao akong tinood kinubuhi. Paul was, Saul was a man from uh, Tarsus. He was a, uh, He was an intelligent man. He had two doctorates. He was well off. Dato to siya. Gipubri siya. Nahin mo siyang apostle para na, sa Gentile, sa para nato. Because of the power of God, Paul recognized adversaries, but they didn't indicate a close door to him. He looked beyond the hindrances to opportunity. He looked the hindrances as an opportunity. Nga man. Because it's where you become creative. Doon ay missionary dito sa isla. Di giyod siya makasood sa mga tao. Nga naman, pobre kayo. Grade 4, di ka mo meningles, di ka mo tanan. Among gibuhat? Sige, may medical mission dito. Gilink na mo. Ang mayor, congressman, nga to sa pastor. Hangtod nga na, hibawa sila ba? Uy, nang, kung saan niyang gibuhat niya? Sir, sige, malamog anha sa isla. Nga naman na wear, nga naman na, na kuhaan ng politiko, kayo nahuna siya ba? Saan mo ni mga tawahan naman? Di ba ka ni mulan sa mayor? Kuntrahan ko ane. <laughs> Dili, di ay. Tungod to sa mayong balita, tungod to nga pastor, among kitabangan, haron maduol siya sa mga katawahan. At the same time, malink siya sa maong mayor and then the mayor later on ningon siya unsa may kinanglanon yung isla sir siminto sir dahan mo gubak lubak sige para ako siminto hangto na suod what happened? ang grade 4 nga pastor nga YE YE in English naka Bible study sa op opisina sa mayor nga naman It's not uh, about us. It's the power of God. It's about being creative. You must be creative in the field. Kahit di ka creative, di na may tabu eh. Gamito na sa ginoo, it's because God wants the people to be close to somebody, to a missionary na nagbuhat o nag, nagamit sa iyang kaugaling resources yung panahon para makawali sa mayang balita. Pwerteng bisura ang iyang lugar eh. Igad to ni mo. Arrow, this way to the Bible Baptist Church. Pag ito spikas, this way to the Bible Baptist Church. Pag ito spikas, arrow, pag ito, this way to the Bible Church. Pag ito mo dito, ang mga kanding, baboy, baka, saan ni si Bahana? Kung ano eh, kanang, kanang, tangkal, parang yung tangkal sa mga mananak. And when we arrived there, among yung nun, sir, mayor, can you improve the place? And I, It's a, something to do with creativity. You must do something. Because out of that, there is a so-called hindrance. Pero doon ay resulta later on because you are creative. There was a restraint, but there is a resource. It's tawag, it, it, it tawag nag resourcefulness. Doon ay resource ba? Unsay pagi. Do you, do you suppose that day when the four men broke through the rope to bring the paralyzed man to Jesus that anyone questioned their action? Nobody questioned their action. Ngayon, saan ang ibuhat mo na? Ang kinsa may nag-question. Pag-sulti yun na Jesus. Naon saan mo? Dili ako. I am God. I am God. Ako yung makaluwas. I realize, I am at the same time tao ko because I'm Jesus Christ. Do you suppose on that day when the four men broke through the rope to bring parliament to Jesus that anyone can question their actions? They were asking, Nga naman giyad gidaan ninyo sa, sa, sa ato, why are you destroying? Nobody asked that because, Nga naman, it was an effort, resourceful sila, creative sila, haron yun, mahitabo to ang maong, pangitabo, nga maayang mga tao. It has been said that the measure of man's character is what it takes to stop them. Are, the question is, are you resolved? Are you resilient? Are you not committed? Muna yung sa Acts 20.24 But none of these things move me 
neither count my life dear to myself that I may finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received the Lord Jesus Christ to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. When we are faced with obstacles, setbacks, resistance, doing the word of God, we should give up. We shouldn't give up, but apply some creative resourcefulness. You must be resourceful. Kaya hindi ka resourceful, o may tabo. Nga naman, it will, you, ma, you can have unselfish compassion, you can have a unified cooperation, unstoppable creativity, <clears throat> ikaw pat and last, a unique contribution. Wouldn't you have liked to have been one of those four men when the Lord looked up and saw them? In Mark 2, 2, 2, 2 verse 5, it says there, When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the, the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. When the, but when, when, the, when there were certain of the scribes sitting there, na ang mga parisiyo, naglingkod ito, and reasoning in their hearts, why that this man give question to Jesus Christ? Why that this man does speak blasphemies? He question nila. Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things into your hearts? In si Jesus read letter edition sa Bible. Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, arise. Arise. <coughs> Bangun. Take up thy bed and walk. Pirting milagruha. I say unto thee, kapilana nagi isulti ni Jesus. Kaduha o. Klaro kay dire o. Arise, sa verse 9, isulti na sa niya sa 11. I say unto thee, Sulti ante ka, o gimuno na on bag niya, ing nante ka. I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thy house. Tiya mo na. This part, ang ilang contribution na yun, panahon niyo mo ba? Ang ilang contribution was just being unified. Being just cooperative, being resourceful, being just doing the, the things na wa nila ho na ang dili ni kinalang. Wag kayo sila mong utana, kinsang ka? Kinsang kabay? Kinsang kabay? Kinsang kabay? Wag yun. Ni volunteer lang dahil sila. Ato ning daog, ato ning dad on dito, ato ning the only Jesus. And immediately he arose, pagkita niya ni <clears throat> ang maong paralitit ko. Pag ni Jesus Christ, Arise, take up the bed and go, and go away into the house. Immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, in so much that they were all amazed. Nangha sila, milagro. They were so amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this passion. Huwag yung kikita. Ano man? Ang mga milagro na nahitabo sa unang panahon, na isulat din eh, na sa Biblia, for us to know and to know and to know that Jesus can still make miracles today. I tell you a story. When we were in the 2005 World Christian Doctors Conference, atin sa ko dito kay Ibutan ako dito, MD. Ang tanan dito nang atin, si Arlene, tanan mga doktor, Gikan de Recibo, Dr. Pelicilda. MD na ibutan, medical doctor. Ningon si Dr. Pelicilda. MD sa nimbutan ko, MD. Saan nang MD ni mo? Murag doktor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sige lang. Talagi, bayram sa amin dito, pagad to. Pagabot ako dito, unsay ni Sugat, doctor, uh, doctor sa... Heart Transplant Center sa Palm Beach, Florida. Si, he made, he was the introductory speaker of the conference. One day, 
Iyang, iyang introduction was his patient, her patient. There was a patient, a 60-year-old, cancer-stricken lady, 60, 60 years old. Ingon ang maong doctor, Chansey Crandall. Na na, makita niyo sa internet. The head of the Heart Transpl Transplant Center of Palm Beach, Florida. Iyang pasinti, 60-year-old cancer patient. Pagsood sa mong pasinti, si Carol, sit ma'am, sit. Ningon si Dr. Crandall, ma'am, I have done everything that I could that all university taught me. You know that I'm the best doctor here in America. They call me the craziest doctor in America. I have done so many things. I have studied your case. I have put all my kind of kanang drugs that I want you to take. Nothing happened. Iba ko say sulti sa pasinti? Doc, you have done everything. You have given me all the resources that you've learned. Any university that is offered in entire America. This one thing that you have not done. So what is that? What is that? What is that? You have not even prayed for me. Ingun si John a Christian doctor. Yes, I have given you everything, but I have never prayed for you. You want me to pray now? Say, so, yes, doctor. Let's kneel, let's kneel. Ang ang mamila yung last nila mabuhan. Ampo sila. Ang maong pasinti, diha siya tubangan, siya niluhod sa Dr. Kandal. O saragid yung ipangayin ni Dr. Kandal sa ginawa. Lord, please, Lord. You have healed people 2,000 years ago. You have given your miracle. In the Bible, I read it and read it. And again, it can be done today, Lord. Please heal this woman. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Uli sila. Make a long story short. Kalimtan. Five days after ni balik mong pasinti. Dr. Kandal, so what is that? What is the news? Look at my laboratory results. Tan on the Dr. Kandal. My God. Everything is normal here. BP normal, kidney normal, liver normal. Everything is normal. What did you do? What did you do? Why are you asking me? We prayed together. <laughs> the power of prayer is very important, especially kung ikaw lisod na. See the point? They never understood in the first place that the doctor was very powerful in his career as a, in medical practice. But he never prayed, prayed for the patient. Until they prayed together, the miracle happened. It was an, a compassion, cooperation, creativity, contribution. The Apostle Peter had enough faith to step up of a boat, walk, walk on water. That would take a lot of faith. When he began to sing, Jesus said, O ye of little faith. When Jesus called Peter, when Jesus called Peter's faith little, did he mean Peter didn't have enough faith? Peter's problem wasn't that he didn't have enough faith. His problem was that his faith was short-lived. Ngunaw na siya ng panahon na, nga di siya matagak, malunod, pero ngunaw na siya Huwag kang maghunaw na. Ako ni, nagtanaw. Ako ni nani mo. Sa mutubangan. Huwag na. Ako ni ginuo. His faith wasn't, was, his faith wasn't little in amount, but in duration. It was in little, short lives. Ha? Di ginuo pa. But he, the Lord wants it. Throughout what you are thinking, ibuhos na lang na ang ibong pagtuo. The apostles did, did not need an increase in amount of their faith. They needed an increase in duration. The endurance. Kita wag na sin English. You have to have an endurance of your faith. That woman, 60-year-old, nawa ang cancer, make, make long story short, nakaingon siya. Nagi de ginoo, hantur karong panahona. See the point? If the fire of your faith is down to a small flickering, you can fan it, imong paypayan ba? Sining list pa ingon nila. Fan it with God's word. Today, and increase your faith as a, as a muscle 
must be exercised to grow, so our faith will increase as to continue to exercise our Christian life. Our Christian life. In conclusion, kining lesson karon, <clears throat> President Reagan, Ronald Reagan, 1986, had signed on his desk in the Oval Office. He said, "Katung reason nato, atong lesson karon, it's about unselfishness. It's about cooperation. It's about contribution. It's about uh, unself uh, being uh, not selfish." President Reagan in his o Oval Office. That said, there is no limit to what man can do or where he can go if he doesn't mind who gets the credit. Komo? Ingon siya, why limit ang tao? Kung maghunahon na lang siya, dili ni para iyahaon ta. Para ni uban. Something you can do for others. Kung imo nang hunahon why problema ang imong kinabuhi unta? Kung maghunahon na lang ka ba? At the end of the day, Yung ka, ah, para mo nisigino, okay lang ni. Ano ba? We must resist growing weary in well-doing. These four friends in the story did together what none of them could not done by themselves. Too often, we neglect to serve God because we want to get something of ourselves. Muna itinuan nga story, ah. Just like the story I told you, nga, napredente ko, you that for humanity and sa panang organization. But when it comes to volunteer program, may ngayon sila, wana ay allowance ba eh? Natin makuha na ba eh? Saan may itong makuha na ba eh? Saan may itong kuha na na? Gusto yun sila nga na sila'y makuha. Rather than dying to self that the greater work might be accomplished for God, we give up when things complicated rather than cooperating with God and others around us to get the job done. We must resist growing weary in well-doing. We must never give up. Now, these four friends did together what none of, our, none of them could have done by themselves. They gave us a picture and a great motivation to present ourselves in, in synergy. Kanang word nga synergy. You cannot do it yourself. You can do it with others, with you. Three, two, three, four. In our church, to be used, to be used of the Lord above and beyond our individual abilities. Let's bow our heads for prayer this morning. Father of God, we thank you, Lord, for this Sunday school. Once a sinner, but I came, pardon to receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that he always kept his word. There's a new name written down in glory, and it's mine, oh yes, it's mine, and a white robe, angels